captivate your WordPress site visitors with this awesome W Design Kit widget called Scroll Banner. This tool will transform your banners and images as users scroll, creating a visually stunning experience which will keep your site visitors' attention. So without any further ado, let's dive in and check this widget out quickly. The widget we will be using here is offered by W Design Kit. Speaking in terms of figures, it includes over 2000 pre-designed templates and 100 plus pre-built widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks, along with a cloud workspace and much more. We will discuss about more of its features in detail soon, so make sure you watch this video till the very end. Now let's start with the tutorial. Make sure you have installed Elementor. And we will also need W Design Kit, so come up here and click Add New Plugin. Then search for it. And here it is, W Design Kit. Simply click on Install Now. Then Activate. Moving ahead to Appearance. And here as you can notice, I am using Next Theme. However, feel free to use any other theme as per your preference. Now in order to use this plugin, we will need to make an account with W Design Kit. Simply come here and click on W Design Kit. Next, up here in the header section, click on Login. At the bottom here, it's written don't have an account. Click Sign Up. Now this web page will open up where it's visible that you can sign up with your socials or here after you fill all the details mentioned, simply click on this button. I already have an account so I'll simply click Sign In. And then I will click on Continue with Google. Once you're logged in, you will get to see this kind of interface. It's time to activate our widget, so come up here in the header section and click on Browse Widgets. Now search Scroll Banner. And here it is. Simply download it by clicking on this icon. Once that's done, let's make sure it's downloaded by going into the My Widget section. Perfect. Now opening the Elementor editor, here's my page, where I have already imported the widget. As you can see, I'm using more than one scroll banner here. If you also want to do the same, simply go to the widgets panel and search scroll banner. Then drag and drop it inside the workspace. Once you do that, under the content tab, you will find all the customization options. For this tutorial, I've left an empty banner at the bottom of this page, so that I could give you an easy quick walkthrough of how to use all these options. But before we get started with them, let's first upload an image for our new banner's background. For that, open the style tab. Scroll down a bit and click the background drop down open. Then click on this classic button for background type, where you will get the option to upload an image. I am going to upload this one from the media library. And that's done. Very simple. Now it's time to go through each of these options one by one. The first option is select style. We have two options here that are style 1 and style 2. It's currently on style 1. On selecting style 2, you will get a different scrolling animation. I'm happy with the style 1 only, so I'll keep this and move on to the next options that are title and description. These are pretty easy to understand, so let me quickly grab some text from a document that I have prepared for this project and paste it in here to show you how it will look. Also, we need to add the button text, so I'll do that as well. It's done! Moving on, down here is a URL input field where you need to put a link so that when a user clicks this call to action button, they get redirected to a specific page. We also have this select icon option which is again for the button only. Any icon uploaded or selected from the icon library will be added in front of the button text in here. I'll go ahead and click upload SVG, then select this icon and click on insert media. Looking nice. Moving ahead, let's close this content drop down and open extra options. Here the alignment and layout settings are for the banner text. You can adjust them to your liking or to fit your banner design. I'll keep them as it is and move on to the next ones that are device scaling options. Now these device scaling options are something you should give special importance to as these will control how much your banner will be scaled or in simple terms zoomed out when reached through scrolling. Let me tell you that the lower the value is, the more zoomed out the banner will be on that responsive screen. I will simply stick with the default settings here but feel free to adjust the values according to your preference as now you know all the information. Once that's done, it's time for me to update and give you the final view.
Now, don't forget to explore other amazing features W Design Kit offers. It provides various design assets and resources to create amazing WordPress websites in a matter of minutes. With its 2000 plus page templates, sections and kits, you can import pre-made WordPress websites. It comes with its own power widget builder using which you can convert any custom code to element or widget blocks or bricks elements and not only that as we shared earlier it has its own 100 plus growing collection of pre-made widgets for elementor gutenberg and bricks using w design kit page builder converter you can convert your elementor widget to gutenberg blocks and even bricks elements amazing right lastly for all the power wordpress users who create multiple websites w design kit also comes with its cloud workspace where you can store your created widgets and page sections on the cloud and import on any other website as well as collaborate with your team members. To be honest, you can say me delusional but W Design Kit is the tool which can increase your productivity by 100%. It comes with both free and pro plan. You can check all the details from this pricing page and choose the plan which suits your need. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now if you are curious, be sure to check out our next video where I will show you how you can set up a beautiful looking pricing features table into your Elementor site, which will help your site visitors easily switch between two different pricing plans to see the value of each option. Most probably we'll be uploading this video next week so don't forget to press that bell icon while subscribing to our channel. Until then, keep learning and exploring.